You don't really think of alcoholic drinks and summer camp going together, but the Capital City Club held a fundraiser called Cocktails at Care for a summer camp that's different than most. Camp Joy is a summer camp for teenagers and adults with intellectual disabilities. Camp Joy originally started in North Carolina. Beth Tootin is not only co-director of Camp Joy South Carolina, she is also a founder. It's the greatest place on earth. <laughs> she started volunteering at the North Carolina location when she was 13, and her love for the camp only continued to grow with every year. Kind of set my life on a path. I became a special education teacher, and then I wanted my students to have a Camp Joy to go to, and um, the Camp Joy in North Carolina was full, and so we approached the leaders there and asked if we could open a camp here in South Carolina. Camp Joy gives the campers an experience they cannot really get anywhere else. It's one of those rare things where they can go and actually leave their parents and have friends and do activities together. For counselors like Haley Martin, Camp Joy lasts a lot longer than a couple weeks in June. I have all of their numbers. They text call me all the time, ask me to hang out. So I go over to their house, I'll take them out and do stuff. It's, it's a connection that lasts a lifetime, not just one summer. But no one is impacted more by Camp Joy than the campers. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Maria Potter will be going to camp this summer for the fourth time, and she's become a bit of a celebrity there. At Camp Joy, uh, people do not see us as having a disability. We're just, it's like our disabilities are wiped away and we're just normal. Well, to Maria, Camp Joy is all about being herself and learning about Jesus. It's, it's nice to feel like a normal person in society where nobody judges or nobody nobody uh, looks down on you because uh, Jesus di di Jesus did not judge and at the end of the day she thanks the camp for giving her the confidence and independence she has today it has really strengthened me as a person um, I really enjoy spreading the word of, of Jesus and what what being a Christian is all about for Carolina news I'm Angelica Iglesias